Meghan Markle sparked a cold rebuttal from the Queen after demanding to be allowed to wear a necklace from the monarch's private jewelry collection, royal commentator Gavin Gray claimed. Meghan Markle gained access to several pieces of jewelry preserved as part of the royal collection and has been allowed to sport some magnificent pieces when on official outings with Prince Harry. Royal insiders this week claimed the Duchess of Sussex has already been banned from wearing some of the precious trinkets to preserve the distinction of roles between her and sister-in-law Kate, Duchess of Cambridge. But commentator Gavin Gray suggested Meghan sparked a chilling reaction from the Queen when she demanded to be allowed to wear a part of the collection. Speaking to Studio 10, Mr. Gray said, There was this row where Meghan wanted this particular necklace. Harry said Meghan gets what Meghan wants, and the Queen turned around and said oh, no, she doesn't. I decide what necklace is going to be worn out of the royal collection. This also fits in with this idea in some ways Harry feels Meghan is being looked down, not being given the same footing or standing as Kate. This is an ongoing battle and a row I can see brewing. The commentator continued, this is a fascinating story because there's a royal collection. It's things like paintings but there's also jewelry and it is one of the best collections of artwork and jewelry anywhere in the world. The Queen does have some private items in there but most of it is owned by UK taxpayers. The Queen does have the right to lend certain items to other members of the royal family and wear necklaces, jewelry, earrings herself. It's been reported that certain pieces, which have been worn by Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, are not going to be allowed to be loaned to Meghan. Duchess of Sussex. It's all to do with picking orders. The decision to allow Kate to have precedence in selecting the jewels would fall in line with changes the Queen made to the pecking order after both the Duchess of Cambridge and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall joined the royal family. Despite being the future Queen, the changes in the order made it so that Kate is expected to bow to blood princesses, Princess Royal, Princess Alexandra, and Princesses Eugenie and Beatrice when attending royal duties without the Duke of Cambridge. The Duchess of Cambridge however does not have to bend the knee to the princesses when William is alongside her but has to curtsy to the Queen, Prince Philip, Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall. And while the Duchess of Sussex holds the same title as her sister-in-law, it has been suggested Meghan Markle will have to curtsy to Kate when at an event with the Queen in attendance. Royal biographer Andrew Morton said, Kate has established herself as the future queen. At the end of the day, Meghan will be curtsying to Catherine, because she will be the queen. Meghan will always be just a junior member, albeit a very popular one, of the royal family. While Meghan is married to Prince Harry and their firstborn will be seventh in line to the throne, she is still of a lower royal rank than sister-in-law Kate. This may explain why the Queen gladly lent Princess Diana and Kate iconic pieces she won't let Meghan wear. They include a four-row Japanese pearl choker worn by Diana for a state banquet in 1982 and the Queen Mary Cambridge Lover's Knot Diara which is a go-to hair accessory for Kate Middleton.